I stopped using fast travel in every game where it's an option. It started when I got the yearly urge to know life Bethesda games. I was filled with the usual nostalgia, seeing the sights, fighting the enemies, listening to the music, whether it be the soundtracks or... This is Radio New Vegas, and I'm your host, Mr. New Vegas. And in case you're wondering if you've come to the right place, you have. Then I realized something. In all of the hours I have playing these games, I never stopped to travel by foot instead of using fast travel. I never slowed down to experience the worlds, instead of blasting through the games to supply dopamine to my ADHD-riddled, TikTok-fueled monkey brain. Sure, I walked to locations to unlock fast travel points, but as soon as the icons turned white, I never walked back. So to combat that, I decided I was going to stop using fast travel. And I am loving it. Don't get me wrong, fast travel is great. It's quick, it's easy, and it's convenient. These games are action RPGs, it's in the name. We want the action, and the best way to get it is to skip the walking and essentially teleport from location to location. Even if you don't want to use fast travel but are still feeling lazy, some games, namely Skyrim, have transportation services. Skyrim has carriages which can get you from A to B for either 20 or 50 gold. Sure, they only get you from city to city, but it's more convenient to pay 20 gold to get from Windhelm to Markarth instead of walking it. Morrowind also has Silt Striders, but that's a special case I'll mention later. Sometimes, going with the less convenient option might make the game more interesting. Going on the long walks opens you up to one of the best mechanics in Bethesda games, Random Encounters. Random Encounters are... um... They are specifically designed to break up the monotony of walking on the roads or through the wilds and seeing the same sights over and over again. If you've played a Bethesda game, you've come across a random encounter. I mean, who can forget getting jumped by vampires outside of Whiterun, this heart attack in Fallout 4, or even meeting the Headless Horseman? And that's not to mention the non-debatable, absolute best perk in New Vegas, Wild Wasteland. It alters the game world, some voice lines, and even entire characters in an effort to reward curiosity and in my opinion, make the game more interesting. The perk makes references to Indiana Jones, Star Wars, and... Lucky what we have here, ladies. Another unsuspecting fox. Hey! Uh, sorry, Granny. I found not using fast travel is the way to play and will be my new go-to. I find it, usually, relaxing to just chill out and walk the roads or wilds while listening to these games' beautiful soundtracks. I mean, sure, every once in a while I might get attacked by the odd wolf or robbed by this ugly bastard, but when you get the right scene and the music swells just right, it's something to behold. I mean, just look at this. Stuff like this is the reason I fell in love with these games and keep coming back. You just don't get to experience scenes like this if you fast travel. Which is one of the main reasons why I've grown to love Morrowind. There is no fast travel. Yes, there are the Silt Striders, which essentially work the same way as Skyrim's carriages, but... No. It's, it's not good enough. I love being thrown into a world that forces you to experience everything it has to offer, and Morrowind does just that. If I could go back and do it all over again, I would never use fast travel. That includes playing these games as a kid or doing the numerous seasonal depression binges I go on. You get more out of these games by slowing down and taking the time to experience the worlds they have to offer. Enjoying the game for what it is, instead of speeding through it, is definitely the way to go. Stop trying to force the game to give you a sense of satisfaction or purpose and let it guide you to what it has to offer. So try it out the next time you come back to one of these games. Skip the fast travel. Thanks for watching.